Hello guys, I'm here with uh, with Re Mr. Rebirth of Sheehan, the ritual master himself. And what did you do today? Uh, not today, but uh, this weekend I went. Uh, I got the 21st place at the German Open using uh, Bestial.Matica. Uh, and with uh, Bestial.Matica, I mean actually mostly Dogmatica and then Bestial. And a little bit of Branded, if you're aware, I already have been covering on this channel a lot of this deck. But hey, I finally got a good completion with this. I was pretty confident that this deck is good, and now I, I, I was here to prove it. 21st place at a 476-person uh, regional. The, um, the final standing for me was 7 and 2. I had no buys. Um, I'll, uh, I'll also put the matchups in the description. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while, but the deck has been performing great, and I would not change it until the next format drops, until now. But hey, let's get into the cards, and you already see I have some small spoiler here. So uh, first of all, if you've been uh, paying attention to me, uh, I run the ritual stuff. One white knight and one white relic of Dogmatica. We're not playing the level 12, not just yet, because it's just not worth it without the um, without uh, Ludo by Lilith, which is coming out in the upcoming set. Uh, these are all enough. Uh, White Knight is your main control piece, and she's uh, your, rich, uh, your utility ritual, and sometimes you just need her to have a little bit of extra, uh, extra decade. Specifically against the Runic matchup, which is one of the hardest matchups of this deck, it is very important to take out as many Hugans as possible, and both these cards are excellent at doing so. Uh, those are the only ritual monsters we're playing, of course, uh, but not the only Dogmatica monsters. We're also playing, of course, three Ecclesia. Mandatory, she's just that good. Uh, she searches everything, and she can be searched off of so many cards. You just need her, and she is not even a normal summon if your opponent controls an extra deck monster, which they often do, unless their name is Labyrinth. Uh, one Fleur de Lee, uh, excellent interruption, very mandatory in the Castero matchup. You need to search uh, her as much as possible whenever you have to play against a Rise Heart Pass, because uh, having simply having Fleur in the deck means that they have to banish the Ecclesia, which already gets one uh, rid of one part of the Arise Heart um, effect. And uh, sometimes if you if you open Tactics plus Ecclesia, and your opponent doesn't know what you're doing. If they let uh, Matrix resolve, uh, and yes, of course, we're playing Matrix, uh, you get into this situation where uh, they're pretty much uh, screwed and they, they will get OTK'd if you, um, if you have uh, triple tactics, which is great. Um, and that even through Shifter and everything. Um, then for other cards, uh, for other monsters. Triple Bestial Lubellion. Uh, by the way, shout out to Team Azrael for uh, helping me with uh, refining the deck, as well as shout outs to my, the people at my locals for lending me expensive cards like these Lubellions. Uh, Lubellion, and of course, we also need to run other Bestials. Two uh, Magnema, one Saranir, and one Jerusalem. Uh, these were absolutely disgusting. Uh, Lubellion in general generates so much advantage over time, and in, especially in combination with the cards that we're playing in this deck. Uh, simply the pressure of the Bestial engine is nuts. Branded Beast, Branded Open, it, uh, Branded Regained, and Magnemite, uh, they all have basically infinite grind. And we're basically playing, uh, a different version of Bestial Control that uh, has its own take on, uh, that is more aggressive at destroying the extra deck uh, with the Dogmatica cards and has way harder, way better matchup against Kashira. Um But Magnemite was insane, as, uh, especially against Rogue. I, for example, played against Mathmech. I saw him twice. I killed him. Uh, I killed him twice because I saw it twice. It, it's just that good against Mathmech. Uh, against uh, Kashtira, I had in my final round I played against uh, 
very prominent French player, apparently, uh, on Kashira, and he misplayed by not popping with his planet, and therefore his Arise Heart, after he tried to break my board, uh, only had uh, one material, which then meant that in the end phase I could uh, activate Magnumut, banish something off of my uh, field, off of my graveyard, special him, and I got to search one of the dragon monsters, which you will now see. One following with Albas, um, which I then proceeded to normal summon, activated its effect and out there a rise heart, which then resulted in game and an unwinnable game state for him. Uh, all in all, these cards were excellent, except for against Runic Materia, because these suck in uh, a matchup against Runic Materia. Uh, for free agents, uh, we are playing Triple Diviner of the Herald. Uh, there is a very good combo, and I teased it a little bit, where you can make uh, Ultimaya Zulkin with her, plus uh, a little bit of extra stuff uh, if you open the bestials. But these were all of the monsters. We did not play any Ash Blossoms or other monster hand traps because, in my opinion, there's only one deck that really reacts well against them, and as in, like, they get stopped and that's branded. And I am already playing uh, Bestials against Branded, so I am not uh, worrying too much. Uh, for spells, triple God card and uh, triple second God card that got disrespected too much. Uh, the extra deck ripping over time. It's so important that against Runic decks, you just get rid of all of their Hugans. Uh, it just make, it breaks their grind uh, game so much uh, just by ripping their Hugans. Uh, but usually you, of course, want to prefer to uh, generate advantage. Uh, this deck is a 41 card deck, uh, and the 41st card was the second of these. Uh, and also, I was, of course, playing one Dogmatic Calamity. Why am I playing two of these, even though this is a shit draw? Uh, in, uh, in grind games, like turn three onwards, you really want to search Matrix because it's just so much plus and you want to still do your ritual stuff. And therefore, Dogmatica Macabre is the best um, follow-up ritual spell in the deck. It's probably the best follow-up ritual spell printed after Meteonis Drytron. Maybe even better than Meteonis Drytron in this deck, uh, simply because it on its own with Grave Setup can play on its own and it's kind of nuts. And Calamity, of course, is the Kaleidoscope, it's necessary. And yeah, uh, the thing is, if you activate Matrix uh, without ritual spells in, uh, or monsters in your deck, you cannot search at all. So it's very important that you always have a ritual spell or a ritual monster in your deck. And because I'm not playing Zoa, I have to at least play three ritual spells, which is pretty damn important. Um, then... Triple uh, Caught by the Grave, um, no, no, Brand of Fusion. Uh, why am I calling it Caught by the Grave? Because this card's effect is uh, your opponent discards one Ash Blossom and cannot activate Ash Blossom for the rest of the turn. Um, in all seriousness, uh, this is just the best call by the Grave in the game because uh, if uh, your opponent has to somehow respond to Brand of Fusion simply because Mirror Jade is almost as good as a rise height in terms of uh, how oppressive it is. Uh, I would almost call Mirror Jade almost a floodgate simply because of the destruction protection effect. And not only that, you also set up your graveyard. The card itself can like do a lot of damage all on its own. The only reasons why I... Uh, one of my matches that I lost was simply because uh, this was my only play. Sadly, I actually lost to uh, to ash blossom but this card is great i would not change it and yeah the it and the fallen of albas both were insane uh br one branded regained this card enables the bestial engine to have basically infinite grind it's just that disgusting um just a very nice card you get so many draws off of this if you use your ritual spells to banish your um, extra deck monsters from your graveyard and then also you're recycling stuff like Entus by doing that it, it's just it just has so much synergy in the deck and you can get uh, to it pretty quickly 
Uh, triple Book of Moon. Uh, we're playing in a format where a Rice Heart is a good card and Kashira loses to Book of Moon. So we're playing Book of Moon. I was uh, deciding either to play this or Cosmic Cyclone to respect Runic, but this was the correct decision because also you can do defensive plays like dodging Impern with this. And then uh, the final spells. Uh, one triple tactics, one, uh, task one tasking, and one ultimate slayer. Ultimate slayer came up, tasking came up, and tactics came up. Uh, this OTK's uh, cast hero. If you have engine, this card gets you to these two. And this card is just uh, a zero for a one trade against most decks. It's very, very good. Uh, for our traps, one Branded Beast. This card is very oppressive together with White Knight simply because it just causes them not to be able to run over White Knight. And not only that, this card is also super oppressive against Labyrinth and single-handedly like Sol together with Bestials solves the, uh, the abysmal Labyrinth matchup. And yes, I played once against Labyrinth and the Bestial engine itself soloed the entire matchup. Uh, one Punishment. Uh, this is uh, what other other decks would play um, Dimensional Barrier, but I play Punishment because I can search it. Uh, this is mainly for the tasking set, but it's also generally good as a disruption, and if you have too many searches, you can search for it. And then the only other hand trap in our deck, Triple Imperm, because it does not play into tasking, it doesn't play into talents. Uh, the only anti-synergy it has is with Bestials, but even then, you just fire the Imperm in beforehand. Okay, so that is the main deck, 41 cards. Uh, Ultimaya Tsulken and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. This, these are the last two slots in, in my extra deck, and I decided to play them simply because if you open Diviner plus either this card or this card, you will get Branded Beast plus uh, a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Uh, due to, uh, and if you get this guy, you even get a Bestial uh, on top, which means this is uh, three interruptions off of two cards, which is a net one, a plus one gain in my opinion, in my book. And not only that, this is a negate and this deck struggles with getting negates on its board. So why the hell not? Uh, it won me two matches, and one I just got even lead. That's the only negative. Uh, Crystal Wing does not negate evenly. Um, I will showcase the combo afterwards. So we got these covered. Uh, Link Monsters, one Bolcephalus, 3500 attack, and sends Gavura. That's the only important thing. Other link monster is Almirage, in case your Diviner gets negated and you don't have a Bestial. Or if you do have a Bestial. Uh, then Fusion Monsters. One Mirror Jade. He just is a chonker. Uh, one Albion. If I had 16 extra card slots, I would play two of them. But I only have uh, 15, so I have to play one. The extra deck is basically as tight as it can be. Um, two Titanic Land. Uh, very important that you play exactly two at least, um, because once uh, you want to send them with White Knight, and the second time you want to send them with Mirror Jade. It just causes your Mirror Jade to generate your Dogmatica follow up, and Dogmatica follow up is pretty damn nuts when you can resolve Matrix into a board. Uh, one Aurora, draw one. Triple Elder Entity Entus. Uh, I would play six if I could. Uh, card does not once per turn. You pop stuff. That's how you deal with boards. Synchro Monsters. Uh, the other ones. The ones that you don't summon. Psyframe Lord or Omega. Occasionally you summon him whenever your Diviner gets negated and you still have uh, stuff in your graveyard. Uh, just to play around stuff. And uh, two Herald of the Arclight. Uh, two is the correct ratio if you play uh, only Dogmatica monsters as your ritual monsters. Uh, more is never needed. It's only that you need two for the combo where you do Relic plus uh, Dogmatica Matrix to end on White Knight plus an extra deck card ripped. Uh, this is the extra deck. Would not change anything. Side deck. 
Triple Ash Blossom card uh, was okay. It came up against it. I never saw it. Um, it was only technically good against Labyrinth, but I never needed it because um, last minute inclusion, Pankratops uh, destroyed Labyrinth for me. Uh, I definitely play this card. In my opinion, it's right now better than Fenrir because this card can out Arise Heart unless they activate Prosperity. Uh, Duo Cosmi uh, Cosmic Cyclone, you need answers against Floodgates and uh, Rooney Fountain. Uh, triple evenly matched, the best uh, trap in the in the current game. Uh, if your opponent disrespects this card and he eats it, you at least side one in. If you play against a matchup where you side the other two tactics, tasking in, um, and uh, you always want to have to have the option to have at least one evenly matched, uh, just in case uh, they activate like a rise heart effect and they have like a mega board. Uh, or if they activate Changri and have like three card set or something. Uh, two more of, of the Ultimate Slayer. If you play against Branded, this card is just stupid. And uh, final two slots. Two Dark Ruler No More. Uh, never saw it, but in theory, it's just. Uh, it would have been good in every situation where I cited it in. Specifically, uh, this card is to respect Sprite, because uh, Sprite, uh, the Melfi deck is, the, the end board for this deck is pretty much unbeatable, so you need something to answer the entire end board. Um, so my uh, final standings were 7-2. I got 21st place at the regional out of 476 players. Um, the only losses I had were once to Naturia Runic, because... Um, uh, game one, I had everything. I destroyed him. Game two, uh, he had evenly, and game three, he had not boosted, and I had no answer. Uh, what do you do? And the second loss was due to player skill, uh, or me doing a dumb decision because I disrespected Sprite. Uh, game one, I only had branded fusion, and he had Ash for, for the branded fusion, as the effect of branded fusion says. Your opponent discards one Ash Blossom. I cannot use Ash Blossom for the rest of the turn. Sad if the other four cards are bricks. Uh, and the other, uh, and game two, I decided to go second against the deck because I was disrespecting it. Because the normal sprite board, I was able to break very consistently, but the Melfi sprite board is just uh, a little bit too much because you cannot really touch the Melfi cards uh, with your deck. Uh, the only card that really deals with them is like Dark Ruler. Um, yeah, I played against two Cash Tira, one Math Mech, uh, one Sword Soul, uh, one Labyrinth, um, two Sprites, uh, one Runic Nateria, one Runic for Hire Sprite deck. Uh, that deck is, by the way, scary. And anything else? Uh, not, not completely sure, but... But Bestials were great. Uh, definitely play the Bestial variant. Uh, I might do a new deck profile if I do well in the upcoming regional this uh, weekend. Uh, see you guys in uh, Mindtown. Um, have a nice day. Again, shout out to Team Azrael uh, for, uh, for being the best testing partners. And full combo, full combo, let's go, let's go.